Now, look, how are you finding the early mornings? God, it's exhausting. <laughs> It's exhausting. I, mean, I thought it was funny the other day, actually. I got up at... Uh, I normally get up at 3 o'clock right. to get in by 4 on air at 6. And it's pretty gruelling, as anyone who's done it knows. But you sort of power on. But my driver, like regular guy I have, the other day, we had bank holiday Monday, so we went on air till 7. So I negotiated a 5.45 pickup. Well done. Only he forgot. <gasps> so, so he got up at 2 a.m., oh, no. gets in his suit, has a, he's had a shower, gets in his suit. He's halfway Do you make him wear the... a suit yes, to drive course, you around? Of course. <laughs> it's outrageous. And a monocle. <laughs> <laughs> like like all good chauffeurs. <laughs> no. Uh, no, but he, he got halfway down the A40 at 3 a.m. before he realised. And by oh, then, there's no point guy. going back to bed. Oh, and that, that, I've discovered that there's one thing worse, actually, than having to get up at that despicably early hour, is having to do it for no reason. <laughs> by mistake. <laughs> yeah, by mistake. But I showed That's him never the, good. The next day, I showed him a tweet from Kim Kardashian, and I said, this will put it in perspective, Gordon, your hell. And it was a tweet, and she said, OK, it's 2 a.m., I've finished my spray tan. I'm exhausted. And well, I said, God, there's always somebody there's worse always off. There's always somebody worse Somewhere off. in the world. Do you know what I think is really good is the fact that there's been this kind of grudging respect for you and people sort of saying, well, you know, and grudging praise from your <laughs> peers. You know, so they've been sort of sitting back watching you and thinking, oh, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've had a lot well, of that. I think I try, we try and have fun. You know, I think the thing do. about mornings is people are at home, they're not really watching normally for two and a half hours. They're drifting in and out, they're listening to things. I just try and liven things up a bit. And one of my favourite bits is our little 15-second burst where your terrified face, <laughs> when you literally <laughs> have no know. idea what I'm going to be saying to you, <laughs> is one of my favourite moments. Well, one of my favourite things that's happened is your partnership, which I think is mm. working so, so well. <laughs> what do you think it is about you that drives Suzanne um, mad the most? Uh, she said the other day it was my humming. I don't even know I do it, but apparently right. I'm always humming. Now, I think it's a sign of contentment. I'm, I'm mm. a happy chap, you know, glass half full. Right. Why shouldn't I hum? Right. Is that her? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> that is, she's just coming mm. in to say... Talking of dangerous no. killer women. <laughs> So they said that they wanted a surprise <laughs> star on the sofa. Come on, give us a kiss. But unfortunately, Madonna wasn't available. <laughs> oh, I'd pay money to see that. I'd pay money to see that. I really would. I so really would. Here I am. Oh, it's lovely to see. This is so strange. Isn't it? It's like, see, I, it's like, a, I like having an arranged marriage. You get uh -huh. put next to this person, and we didn't really know each other at all. They suddenly said, right, you're going to be spending three days a week, mm. a total of nine, ten hours, in close proximity. I don't even spend that much next to my wife. <laughs> And then suddenly yeah. you're right, well, you've got to get on with each other. Of course, half of Susanna, I think, quite likes me, and the other half thinks I'm Hannibal Lecter, so... I know, but it works, Susanna. I would it dispute works. the proportions. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's, I, and in fact, as I was waiting to come on, I just heard Piers going, I think she's warming to me. <laughs> I think I'm winning her over. I'm like, mm, really? <laughs> I, I think that's the thing. I, I normally come off, and I, there she is, waiting like the headmistress, you know, giving me little little... Little advice she would put right. No, but, yeah. the, but you do it so beautifully. It's it's firm. Oh, you're so mm. kind. But it's it's firm, but it's kind and it's fine. And Have you noticed it's after the show I'm able to speak to him? Because <laughs> <laughs> actually oh, during the hand. show I can't say anything at all. It's when I'm like ripping into some trophy hunter or something. And I suddenly feel this hand come over, which obviously is you know, partly. <laughs> it was fine, isn't partly, it? I, I'm rather enjoying the moment, but this hand, this censorious hand comes and lands and on my like, knee, and it's know. like the royal. It's like the sort of Emperor Nero. Now it must end. <laughs> yes, it's like that. Is it? It's oh. like the interview can carry on or can't. Well, look, I think the two of you are working brilliantly. I, Thank I you. love watching the show. I mean, I've always, obviously always got it all, and you know, we're all getting ready and things, and it's it's a joy. It's we an absolute fun, joy. Yeah, we you, are you really are. Fun. Can I just say, you look sensational in that mm. dress. Oh, There's not you. many people who could I know, expose bit, quite as much thigh, short. I'm and it looks so toned. Thank well, you. I hope we all know why you wore such a, a short little number today. <laughs> <laughs> and was, I'm very flattered. It was all for Pierce, of course. It was all for him. Listen, Killer Women tomorrow night. Killer Women tomorrow night. ITV 9 p.m. It is. It's one of those things. I think everyone will be talking about it the next yeah, day because definitely. you will not believe what you're watching. It sounds okay. chilling. It is. It is. It and is. we'll see you tomorrow six o'clock. As of always. Course. God yes. <laughs> yeah. Your driver will turn up on time. Oh God. This is my cat. Goodness me. What is this extra special oh, service you're getting? He just. I think all drivers should have monocles. So do I. So do I. Thank you. Lorraine, it's been such a pleasure. Oh, thank thank you. you. I love this show. It's good fun. It's good fun.